What? Just fucking what? What? <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I'm quite enraged with this because Stephen Moffat has literally been like, penis, anus, and screwed us over completely. Now, if anyone does not know, I started with Eccleston. I started with Chris Eccleston eight years ago. Yeah, no, eight years ago. That was a long time ago. Um, I've been a fan for eight years. Uh, come on to nine soon. Um, why? Fucking why? If you don't know, um, there's an article just been released, which about John Hurt to play Ninth Doctor, and yeah, it's a link in the description. So go check. I'll I'll put a link in the description. And you can read with me, and we're gonna read this article, and we're gonna break this down. So let's go do that. <laughs> okay, right, um, yeah, let's do this thing. So, uh, this is John Hurt right here, uh, this Mexi man, um, to be honest, I don't know how he's gonna play the Ninth Doctor, <laughs> unless he shaves his thingy, uh, gets rid of the beard and gets rid of the glasses, then maybe he will look like him, but we'll just have to see how it rolls. Uh, so, John Hurt to play the Ninth Doctor. John Hurt will play the Ninth Doctor in the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary episode. The 73-year-old actor, um, Alter Ego, will be regeneration of Time Lord of the Time Lord, which the character has forgotten about in the special af uh, special after Christopher Eccleston, who played the ninth incarnation of the Doctor in 2005, refused to return for the episode after holding talks with the showrunner Stephen Moffat. A source to uh, told the Sun newspaper, John will play the real ninth Doctor. Christopher Eccleston has always been thought of as the Ninth Doctor, but now that John has been revealed as the Ninth Doctor, it shuffles Eccleston's Doctor to the Tenth Do Time Lord, uh, Tennant the Eleventh, and Mitt the, uh, Smith the Twelfth. It also means that Do the Doctor's time is running it, uh, out, as he can only regenerate twelve times. John revealed earlier this week he will play the uh, part of the Doctor in a kind of tri trianty with Matt Smith and David Tennant. But the pair's doctors were entirely, entirely, I don't know, refused to, to accept John's character in one of them until it becomes apparent, thanks to the Sonic Screwdrivers. The source explained, so Stephen loves a complex plot, and there is plenty, uh, there will be plenty of surprises along the way. The reason the Doctor has forgotten the Ninth Incarnation will become clear, but it's not to do with the Time, law, time War and his shame over it, uh, sh shame over his behaviour in it. Tenor and Smith Doctor will at uh, first refuse uh, to accept Hurt is, th is them until the Sonic Screwdrivers confirm they announce he is, he's the ninth, he's us, he, he's the ninth Doctor, uh, ninth us. Uh, John's Doctor had deliberately been given a style similar to both Eighth, do uh, eighth Doctor, uh, who was portrayed by Paul McCann and a Christopher X, uh, Christopher's Time Lord. A source said John was given a very familiar look that goes halfway between two regenerations. What's more, uh, Doctor Who will be celebrated at uh, Aquiri uh, Baffata TV uh, Awards on Sunday the 12th, uh, 5.13, in the recognition, uh, recognition, recognition sorry, of the program's 50th anniversary. Matt Smith and Ginny Louise Coleman will play uh, the t uh, current Time Lord's assistant, Clara Oswald, uh, Oswald uh, have pre-recorded a sketch which will screen at the ceremony to help introduce the Barrette beautiful uh, beauty on stage to present an award. Two Daleks will also be on the Baffeta red carpet. Uh, um, Amanda Berry, OBE Chief Exe Exe Executive uh, of the Baffeta, said, There are only a handful of programs that have uh, the quality and longevity of Doctor Who and the ability to put on the nation on their sofas or indeed behind them, year after year. BAFTA uh, raises the toast to Doctor Who on its 50th birthday this year. Stephen added, I'm thrilled that BAFTA ha are including a special tribute to the show. Yeah, 
Okay, I, I, I don't know why I'm so enraged with this whole thing, because I started with Christopher Eccleston, as I said before. I started with Christopher Eccleston, and I think, you know, he was an amazing doctor, and I think it's kind of more his fault that he's not coming back. But, um, what I don't get with this is, that Stephen Moffat is seen to be saying that, basically, the Ninth Doctor is the Eighth Doctor split, and Tennant is the Ninth Doctor, and Matt Smith is the 11th, and what? What? I, you know, it's like, I don't know, what is going on between this is, I don't know. So, so yeah. Well, anyway, um, I think I've ranted on long enough. I think I've pretty much got my opinion across. Uh, Stephen Moffat, you know how you said you like complex stories? Well, you know, it's screw us over, don't you? No, you you like to do that, don't you? Screw us over. Now, this doesn't, this doesn't mean I'm not going to be a fan. Still going to be a fan. It just means I think the 15th anniversary is going to give me a little bit of concern. More than I thought it would. I, I'm still very excited for the 15th anniversary. I uh, want to briefly touch on something, though. Everybody's saying that the 12th, you know, is 12th generation is the last one. No, I think, I think they're going to get around that, you see. Because, um... If they, if they ever did say, right, you know, he's 12th for generation, that's it, done. How, how is he going to die? You know, as you said before, he's 1,000 years old now. Um, he's regenerated 11 times. Um, so I can't think why he would end at 12. You know, is this got something to do with this theory about that his mother is a human and his father's time lord made us more reincarnations because, like... Let's say the original Doctors had 24 reincarnations, he only has 12 because he's half time, he, um, his mother was a human. Uh, the reason this has been explained is was explained in the 8th Doctor movie, apparently he was, his mom's human. Oh, that's what's known. Um, so anyway, I, yeah, you know, I think, maybe I'm going to give John Hurt a chance, because um, I did slag off Matt Smith when he first died, yes, I'll admit it, and I slagged off David Tennant when he first uh, started, and they were both amazing doctors. I fell in love with them. They're amazing. Just great doctors overall. Overall. Um, so I'm just going to give John Hurt a chance. I just don't like the way that Stephen Moffat's going along with this. That he's, you know, making it a split. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it rolls. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the 13th edition of the Saw Show. Um, give me your opinions on Dot2. If you're a Dot2 fan, please comment on here, or you can comment on me on Facebook and tell me about it, or you can message me on Facebook, or you can, like, say to me on Twitter. I don't know, I don't care. Either way, um, actually, do you know what? I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Click either one of these two icons. Um, I think this will be one will be Facebook, and this will be Twitter, either one, or the other way around, this one will be Facebook. I'll, I'll choose something. Um, so click any one of those ones. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, please, and they'll still be in the link in the description, by the way. Uh, my Twitter page and Facebook page, if this doesn't work, so just tell me. Um, the article is down below, if you want to go find it. Uh, yeah, kind of sucks, doesn't it, really? <laughs> um, and you can read it for yourself and, you know, give me an opinion about it. There is a Facebook comment bit on it, so you can give an opinion about it. So, um, yeah, just bear that in mind. And, um, yeah, you know. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Adios, amigos, and uh, peace out, guys. You know, I'm going to end this a little bit different today. That didn't work out as well as forward. Yolo. Goodbye, guys.